this uh, election victory for the Front National. Yes, it's an election victory that uh, the left-leaning uh, Liberation has just, or sorry, I'm going to start with Figaro rather. Figaro has said it is actually a warning. It's a local election, but a national message. And it pointed out in its editorial that the if generally if you are going to go out and vote for an, a, a simple councillor in a by-election like this, you obviously feel you can change things, while those that stay at home are obviously given over to apathy. And 53.9% voted for Laurent Lopez, despite a higher than expected turnout, which was expected to go against him because the socialists who didn't make the second round had called for a higher turnout, a Republican front, to help the right-wing UMP defeat the National Front. That didn't happen. Now, over on the left, Liberation is uh, quite mournful about it. They said that the the Front National or the National Front passes while the left passes away, because that's referring to the fact that the Socialists did not actually make yesterday's uh, second round. And it also said that there there is no real danger of a tidal wave of uh, National Front elections, uh, electors coming around, but it is seriously empoisoning, according to Liberation, the, the political landscape in uh, France as right-wing and left-wing parties are scrambling to uh, reassure voters on issues such as security and immigration. Okay, that's on the Front National. You've also uh, pulled out a story, haven't you, from uh, Guadeloupe? Yes, uh, speaking of insecurity, the Le Parisien has, is on its front cover. It says an epidemic of crimes. There's uh, 38 people have been killed since the beginning of the year, a record. And the main reason for that is drugs, uh, also crack cocaine, alcohol, which are generally wrecking havoc with uh, parts, parts of the young, uh, the youth in more marginalized areas in, on the island. And in the Figaro, uh, an, a local MP, Eric Jalton from the island, he, say, he points out that the crime rate is actually higher in uh, Guadeloupe than it is in the south of France or Paris suburbs, which are generally a, a major cause for concern within France itself. He also says that youth unemployment in certain areas reaches up to 65 per cent. Now, of course, probably the story of last week uh, was the terrible situation off Lampedusa. We had another uh, sinking uh, on Friday, didn't we, uh, in the Mediterranean? That's uh, still all over the newspapers as That's well. That's right. It? 36 people, a boat sank, largely Syrian. Uh, now, the Catholic uh, daily La Croix is saying that Europe has to act, that um, Europe is saying that it's going to step up surveillance. La Croix says that's not enough. It needs to actually come to the, to the rescue of people and that in initiatives need to be taken similar to what happened in the 1970s when humanitarian agencies mobilised to help the boat people who were fleeing repressive regimes in Vietnam and Cambodia. And very, very briefly, um, Qatar, the World Cup. Yes, uh, The Guardian, of course, did a couple of weeks back, did an expose on that. Now, L'Humanité, the left-wing uh, daily, has sent an, uh, a reporter there. Uh, he was actually locked up for 12 hours by authorities for illegal practice of journalism. Uh, but he's talking about, the, he describes uh, uh, a system of modern slavery, which is the, the local system called kafala, in which workers from the Philippines, Nepal and Sri Lanka, among other countries, are effectively indentured to work. And in some cases, they're left without, without access to water and toilets for hours on end while working in sweltering heat. Oliver, thanks so much. Oliver Farry with uh, today's French Press Review here on France Fancamp. Coming up for you in the next half hour, uh, we've got the latest news. Plus, of course, uh, we have a special focus, as ever, at this time of the day. Uh, it's on today the tough life that Syrians face as they struggle to live in Lebanon. A quarter of the population in the country are Syrian, but they face curfews and evictions. That's in the next half hour here on France Fancast. So don't go away.